what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel now look at this nice and beautiful question that we have here on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says if x and y are natural numbers such that the square root of x plus y is equal to 7 and x plus the square root of y is equal to 11 find the values of x and y well our first step towards solving this question is to say let the square root of x which is this radical here be equal to a so removing the radical the radical sign that means x will be equal to a squared i'm going to be doing the same thing to the square root of y so we say the square root of y be equal to b so removing the radical sign we have y to be equal to b squared that is it so now let's rewrite this question so the square root of x we said that should be a so i'm going to be writing a plus y y is b squared so i'm going to be writing b squared equal to seven so that's our equation one now taking the other equation x x is a squared so i'm going to be writing a squared there plus square root of y square root of y is b so i'm going to be writing b equal to 11. so this is our equation two now let's subtract equation one from equation two so subtracting i'll be having a squared minus a plus b minus b squared equal to four so now let's bring the terms with square together so i have a square i'm going to be writing a square and this is minus b squared so write minus b squared now plus b minus a equal to four well let's arrange this expression so that it can be easily factorized well this is a minus b coming first and this is b minus a so they don't look alike what i'm going to be doing is to arrange this to look like this so i'll be saying a squared minus b squared minus a minus b so that is it so they are not looking very much alike so notice that this is difference of two square and how do we express difference of two square it is simply by saying a minus b times a plus b so this is how to express difference of two square now i have minus here minus now this is a minus b equal to four now something is common you notice that a minus b is common so let's bring it out so a minus b out now what is going to be remaining i'm going to be having a plus b here minus one that is it equal to four that is it so let's continue that means this factor multiplies this factor to give four so let me write it down the first factor is a minus b and the other factor is a plus b minus one so what are the factors of four factors of four are four two and one i'm going to be writing it in the reverse form like this one two four so let me put equal to here now notice that a plus b minus one is actually larger than a minus b so that means a minus b is smaller we're going to be choosing factor where a minus b is small which is that which is this one we're going to be choosing this so this is a take a minus b and a plus b minus one are not the same so i'll reject this and i'll also reject this because a minus b is not larger than a plus b minus one so i'm only working with this case so which is a minus b equal to one and a plus b minus one equal to four i'm going to be moving this negative one to the right hand side so that i have a plus b to be equal to four plus one and this will result to a plus b equal to five so i have two equations to work with which is a minus b equal to one and a plus b to be equal to five our next step will be to add these two equations so adding the two equations a plus a i'm going to be having two a minus b plus b is zero so no need of writing that down equal to one plus five that's six so a will be equal to six divided by two which is equal to three so let's put a value for a in any of these two equations i'm going to be putting it in the first equations so 
a minus b equal to 1. That's the first equation. So a is 3 minus b equal to 1. So b will be equal to 3 minus 1, b equal to 2. Very good. Very good. So we are doing well. Let's continue. Remember that we said the square root of x is equal to a, and therefore x is equal to a squared. Right? Cool. What is the value for a we got? We got a to be equal to 3. So squaring that, a will be equal to 9. Also, remember that the square root of y is equal to b. So therefore, y will be equal to b squared. So what do we have as a value for b? We have 2. So 2 squared is equal to 4. So the values for x and y are x is 9, y, y is 4. We can go ahead and check to see if we have the correct answer. So we have the square root of x plus y to be equal to 7 as the original question. And now this is x. This is x plus the square root of y equal to 11. So let's check with this first equation. So we have the square root of x is 9 plus y is 4. So this is going to give us 3 plus 4, which is equal to 7. Also, checking with the second equation, x is 9 plus square root of y is 4. So this becomes 9 plus square root of 4 is 2, and this is equal to 11. So our answers are very correct. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.